Hi there, welcome back. This is Elvis from RoofTuneUp.ca once again. Um, some issues that are come out there in the roofing industry, the uh, the corners. You guys have leaky seams because obviously the caulking has worn out inside, or the silicone rather. So uh, what we're going to do today is just go over a few real steps in real time to show you guys how to fix this yourself um, and how to do it properly. Okay. So first of all, in order to do it, what you're going to have to do is just clean these troughs first and make sure they're dry at least. Well, it really doesn't matter if they're dry, but there's no water coming towards my seam, at least for the next 24 hours. Okay. Now you can come in here and see that I've got it relatively clean now. You can see all these, somebody's tried to fix it already by putting caulking over caulking, but that's not the way to do it. So what I'm going to do, and you guys can do as well, is use a propane torch, a little handheld torch, to heat all this up. And what we're going to do, mine's a little different than yours, but same purpose. The key to doing this is actually to heat up the old rubber and get it off there so that uh, we can scrape that off and make a clean seam. Then we'll put plenty of caulking over it. We'll wait for another 10 years. Okay, that'll do it. Now you'll see, no matter what you use, a flat top screwdriver or anything, you'll see now that the caulking will actually come off quite a bit easier. Take it right down to the new stuff. Doing this. That comes off pretty easy, actually. See now what we're doing is exposing the seam that's there. And that's the key. I actually think it might be better to do this in two. So uh, what we'll do is just cut this short for now. You guys know what I'm doing here. I'm just heating this up and scraping all this caulking off. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all nice and clean. And uh, then you guys will know how to do it at home. So we'll see you in a couple minutes. Okay, welcome back. So you guys can come in and see now how clean I've got this. <sighs> come on in, have a look. I even actually used a little piece of a wire brush. I broke a piece of a wire brush off and I used it to help me get it good. It's always good. It is a little cool out, so what I did is I put the, uh, the polyurethane on the heater, so it's quite warm right now. So it's ready to go, basically. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from right here at the top and put a nice speed. You've got it, don't spare it. key to putting a nice bead is so that we could smooth it out in a few minutes when we're ready. Okay, and one more. Just up the seam on the top. Okay, so come in here now and have a quick look. This is now I put quite a bit there, you can see. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wet my finger. And you'll notice now the caulking is not going to stick to me. And I'm going to, while it's still nice and warm, I'm going to put it nice where I want it. at the back of your finger too and really push it down really well because that's the key obviously you don't want to have to come up here and mess around with it again I've actually been waiting a few days to do this 
because the weather hasn't been so good. I want to make sure it was at least 24 hours. And I stuff to dry. Yeah, well that's the key right there, people. The key is having it clean. Using the torch to get off the old stuff is the only way, okay? Maybe you can just come in there and have a look. I mean, you can see, you guys know by now that I, I've got caulk and I'd like to use it. That's why I buy them by packs of 20. There you go. Okay, I'm going to have another quick look. Look, my fingers are still clean, other than where it wasn't wet. <laughs> okay, you guys have it there. So, then this will never leak again. Well, 10 years anyway. 10 years should be replacing these yeast troughs. So that's how you uh, fix you guys' leaky seams at home. Uh, once again, this is Elvis from RoofTuneUp.ca and the boys. We'll see you next time.